Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I've said it before and I will say it again. There is just nothing like getting a fire started. And my love of starting fires of course translates over to a love of wood stoves. We've looked at a tons of wood stoves over the years and one of the most popular wood stoves, especially in the last couple years it seems, is a rocket stove. Rocket stoves have a tendency to be very heavy, but today we're going to look at a pretty lightweight version, the Hot Ash Mini Titanium Rocket Stove. Stay tuned guys, I think you're going to want to check out this pretty cool stove. Thanks for watching. First off, what exactly is a rocket stove? Well, you're usually going to have some kind of a chimney. You'll have an area at the bottom, which is your combustion chamber, and then you'll have a chimney that goes up. Basically, prior to the flames reaching the top of the chimney, it allows for complete combustion of the gases. These tend to be more efficient and burn less fuel than traditional stoves. Now, they also traditionally have insulated chimneys. Now, of course, the ones that we use for the most part don't have insulated chimneys. These are more traditional uh, earthen type rocket stoves that they make. So you will notice that this stove and most stoves you can buy commercially don't have insulated chimneys. Let's take an up close look at this stove from Hot Ash. So here is our stove. I'll tell you guys a little bit about this carrying case in a little while. It's made of titanium. The feet are actually made of aluminum. The weight is 15 ounces. Nested like this, it's seven inches by 2.3 inches. Put it together, you just undo this down here. Just get those wing nuts off. It actually comes out this side over here. And then inside, you've got a couple pieces, including the feet. These are the aluminum feet. Now there's two pieces. The chute here is where you're gonna put the wood in. It's kind of got this slanted area. And this is the burn chamber right here. So you're gonna wanna put this burn chamber area into the side here, okay, just like that. This back area, you're gonna put your foot and then screw this in. And that'll be this side. Now the other side has this little notch in it. And that's how you know it's that side, because this notch will be right there. You pop that in and you'll see that you've got another area for your wing nut, and that's gonna complete the chute for your wood. There's your completed stove. This part right here is just for the top. Pops on just like that. You can see it. And that is your completed stove. Let's get a fire going. I'll show you guys how I do it. So get yourself some dry pieces of wood and put them right into the burn chamber, just like this. It won't take a lot, but we've got these to put in afterwards. Now what I like to do is get some small stuff. In this case, I'm gonna use some wood shavings, all right? Like on a lot of my videos, as I do wood turning at home, I can use my wood shavings. It really works well. I'm also gonna stuff some wood shavings just in the side right here. And this will really get it going pretty darn well. Now I really like using these fire plugs from Pro Camp Tech, and I'll show you why. I wanna drop it in there, but the beauty is I can get this going and then drop it in there. There it goes, and just drop it in. That fire plug is gonna take care of everything you need. You can go ahead and put this on because it's gonna start to go here soon. I'm gonna move this to the side and just kind of do a little bit of a time lapse or speed through it so you can see what it looks like. This is about the size that you want. This is probably quarter inch thick, and the length I would say is probably about four inches. You can just measure. You want it from about here to midway through there, and that's gonna allow you to put it in there. These are burning perfectly. We can slide this in. 
because it is nice and thin. Slide this in because it is nice and thin. And that is how you keep it going. Let me move the camera and you guys can see it burning in this chamber over here. Like I said, rocket stoves are traditionally very efficient, but also traditionally very heavy. And it is nice to see a variation on the rocket stove, although not a classic rocket stove. It's nice to see a variation that's pretty lightweight. It takes a few times getting used to burning with this stove to be able to keep it going well. Like I told you guys while we were getting it going, you want to use pretty small diameter sticks. You want to keep them a fairly even length so that they can completely fit into the combustion chamber. Try to make sure you feed it from the port and not from the top. If you feed it from the top, it's not as efficient. Now the way I loaded it with the really dry and thin stuff, the shavings on the top works perfect for me. You guys may have a different way to look at it, but it works well and I just keep feeding it and I have no problems with it whatsoever. I've gotten some pretty good boil times with it, but you do have to keep an eye on it. You, you have to babysit rocket stoves, especially small ones like this. They burn through the wood pretty quickly, so just make sure you have all your wood prepared and keep an eye on it. If you walk away from a rocket stove like this in five, 10 minutes, it's gonna be in a bad way. I do wish that the wood chute or the feed chute would allow larger diameter uh, and longer sticks, but I guess I could have gotten the larger version if I really wanted that. Price is $54.95. I think it's pretty reasonable. You're looking at a pretty lightweight rocket stove, a novel idea. So I think it's pretty reasonable. One thing that I don't like is that it didn't come with a carrying case. You guys saw the carrying case that I talked about at the beginning. This is from a company called P&W Bushcraft. I'm not gonna take any credit for finding them. In fact, I'm not gonna take any credit for finding this stove. If you'll look down below, you'll see a link to my buddy Shane Coffey's channel. He's got a lot of awesome stove videos and other videos in general as well, but he talked about the hot ash stove. I saw it and I had to pick one up. He also mentioned about the carrying case and he got one made custom by P&W Bushcraft. I did the same. It's 13 inches by five inches in diameter. It's a round and long tube of waxed canvas. I don't remember exactly what it cost, but it was a pretty reasonable price. So if you're interested in making a, a stove case or any kind of case, check them out on Etsy. I'll try to remember, if I can, to leave a link down below as well. Along with the carrying case, this stove makes a really nice piece of kit for emergencies or just for a little bit of fun going out on the trail with a different type of stove. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist just on stoves. I'll make sure and leave a link down below and up in the uh, tiles at the end of the video if you want to check it out. I've got who knows how many stove videos at this point. Another really important thing, guys, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube and helps my channel out tremendously. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video, hit the notification bell and you will get a notification anytime I release a new video. I'm having a great time out here in Arkansas. I love testing out new stoves. I love stoves in general. Hope you guys enjoyed a look at this very interesting rocket stove from Hot Ash. And as always, guys, stay tuned for more videos here, Paleo Hiker MD.